Um, hey guys, uh, today we're going to look at uh, second order differential equations with uh, MATLAB. Uh, I'm going to use the same equations that I've used uh, with uh, a Maple um, video session and uh, Python video session as well. Okay, cool. So on a side note, guys, um, I really appreciate it if you do subscribe to my channel. Uh, please share the videos with your friends, Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, whatever social media platform that you use, uh, please do share. I would really appreciate that. Okay, cool. So let's get started. So I'm just going to start off by typing a comment. So second order, uh, differential equations, period. Right. Cracking on. So equation one, right, uh, I'm going to quote. Okay, uh, so d2y uh, minus uh, y equals to uh, sine x. Okay, right. So um, the capital D uh, indicates the derivative, and then the two, obviously, uh, it's showing you, telling you that it's a second order uh, differential uh, equation. Okay, cool. So uh, to solve, uh, so equation one, and then x is our independent variable. Yep, there we are. So then crank, crank it on to the next one, equation two. And um, can you sync with quotes this time? Uh, so d2y minus y equals uh, cos x. D solve uh, equation 2, and x is our independent variable. Right. And then uh, click it on to the next one, so equation 3. Um, single quotes, d2y minus um, dy and a 6 times y uh, equals 0. Then dissolve uh, equation 3. And x is our independent variable. OK. The next one, so equation 4 equals, um, so 4 times d2y minus uh, 6 times dy plus 7 times y is equal to 0. Yeah. OK, uh, cracking on. So dissolve equation 4. And then x is our independent variable. OK, cool. Um, then clicking on to the next one, so equation 5, um, d2y minus 4 times dy minus 12y equals uh, 3 times exponential, uh, 5 times x, sorry, right. Uh, voila, then clicking on to solve. So, equation 5 minus, uh, sorry, and x is our independent variable. Yeah, so there we are. Cool. So, I'm just going to show you another um, a quick um, a quick equation to tell you about um, why you've got to be careful in typing your stuff. So, I'll just use equation 5 again. Right, and then notice if you move that multiplication sign, and then you do that, then type into solve again, then eq5 with x is our independent variable. Yeah, so you get an error. So always be careful when you type in, in um, um, your functions um, with my lab. Don't forget the multiplication sign if you've got a if you've got an integer multiplying. Um, a derivative yeah don't forget that so I just wanted to show you that anyway so cool so anyway guys uh, thanks for watching and um, thanks for watching and have a good day voila bye bye